I don't know how many years ago, but a friend asked me this weird question. Uh, he just said, what makes you happy? And it threw me off because I hadn't given it a second thought. Uh, what, what makes me, what is that, huh? Uh, and so I started thinking about it. I really gave it a lot of thought. And I started thinking about, you know, the best times of my life were, you know, road trips, uh, where I'm just staring out of the back seat at, you know, rural country, um, you know, seeing cows pass by, farmhouses, um, camping, you know, Boy Scouts, um, you know, trails, just getting lost sometimes. You know, those really took me to a good place, and it always helps to know your subject. So I look for a lot of contrast, and a lot of times I won't go out, um, say, in the middle of the day because everything's just washed out. Towards the end of the day, sunset, you get that really strong light um, that they, they gives us, um, at times, orange glow across the whole landscape. Uh, and that really speaks to me. And trying to keep it natural, even if it's not your typical beauty, it may, uh, you know, I've painted things where there are the trees that are in an alleyway. And, you know, who would think to even do that? But um, if the lighting's hitting, hitting everything right, you know, anything can be beautiful. You can't wait for inspiration to come. You gotta go out and get it. And if I waited for inspiration, I couldn't, I wouldn't have many shows. Um, so that, that's that been one key thing that, uh, or a few key things that really helped me um, when, when studying illustration. Um, then the kicker was just finding my own voice for fine art. So many people want to just get it right from the jump, and they don't—they don't want to—they uh, don't want to fail. They don't want to show anything that's not museum-worthy. You know, you have to have patience. Well, okay, I'm going to do this. It's not going to be great, but I'm going to learn from it and apply it to the next piece. And you know, as long as you're still working your craft and having that patience um, to know that it's going to get better. Um, you'll be just fine. And sometimes just doing a little bit of a painting, saying, okay, I gotta wait, I gotta look at this for a while to see if it's really working the way I want it to, um, as opposed to giving yourself, okay, I, well, I gotta get this finished in this amount of time. If it doesn't, then it doesn't.